we're doing today, we're mixing a couple presentations. We've got a, oh man, he's just thumping back there. We're using spoons, which is something I'm very familiar with for walleye fishing. We're using little junior streak spoons made by Wolverine Tackle, and I've caught hundreds, maybe thousands of walleyes on these things. But we're using a different way today to get them down. And uh, the method we're using to get them down today is a new diving planer uh, that just came out on the market. It's called the Trip Z, produced by Walker, the same people that make the downriggers. That's gonna be kind of tricky seeing how I get this thing netted by myself here, but I think we can handle it. Come to Papa, come to Papa. Oh, come to Papa, get in the net, baby. I got him. That is a porker. That is a porker. Get him held up here. Now that's a good start. <laughs> Lake Erie walleye. We're fishing out of the uh, area between, you know, between Huron and Lorraine. Actually, Cranberry Creek Marina is where we launched today. That is a typical Lake Erie walleye. And we'll put him in the box here and I'll show you what we caught him on. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> I'm gonna be busy today. Literally, two fish just about as fast as I can get hooked up and reel them in. These are quality fish. One of the things that's going on in Lake Erie, if you haven't been to Lake Erie in a while, you may not recognize it. The fishery has changed dramatically in the last decade or so. It used to be Lake Erie was known for producing tons of small fish and, um, and some big fish, but primarily people were sorting through lots and lots of small fish. That's not the case anymore. What we're dealing with on Lake Erie now are mostly adult fish and not as many small fish as we'd like to see. No one knows exactly why the reproduction has dropped here, but I'm telling you what, we've got some amazing big fish fishing opportunities. Uh, the western and central and eastern basins, all three, are just chuck full of big adult walleyes. And that's what we're catching today. Literally, I caught the first fish before I could get him unhooked. And in the live well, I had the second fish on. You might want to take another look at this spot. That's the other thing that's happening in Erie now, is that we used to have the luxury of trolling long distances and never turning around because the schools were big. It's not the case anymore. The schools are smaller. And so once you get on a school, you want to stay on a school. Here we go. Choke up on this and get this offshore board off here. There you go. Yeah, he's there. Oh, beautiful fish. Man, you know you got a good walleye when your arm is sore fighting a walleye. See what I got for a net handy here. Looks like about a cookie cutter, about the same size as what we just caught. Boy, I tell you what, that net them by yourself is no fun, but he's in the bag. <laughs> All right, now we got this fish in the live well. Let's talk about what's going on here. All right, that's the thing that did the nasty right there. Junior Streak Spoon is what he bit. I got about a six foot liter of fluorocarbon here, 15 pound test. And this is my diving device that I'm using to get to the get down to the fish. And this thing is a floating device. It's called a Trip Z. What makes this unique is that it has a trip mechanism on the front here. Most other floating diving devices don't have trip mechanisms. So when you're reeling them in, you're fighting the diver and the fish at the same time. This puppy, as soon as you hook a fish, the trip mechanism on the front opens up like that. And so you're just fighting the resistance of the fish. You don't have any resistance to the diver. Great invention, and they're working wonderful here today for us. Just a few minutes on the water, and we've already got two fish in the box. 